Few people would argue it's been a bitterly cold winter. The extreme cold isn't just hard on people, but our pets too. Here is what you need to know to protect them. Common sense really needs to rule. If you're uncomfortable being outside, there's a good chance your dog, and we're talking about dogs primarily, there's a really good chance that your dog is uncomfortable as well. It's been a cold winter with sub-zero temperatures hitting last month and causing schools to shut down for several days. With air temperatures that low, exposed skin can become frostbitten in five minutes. And like humans, our pets can suffer from hypothermia and frostbite. We definitely have seen oftentimes cats that come in that have been strays for a period of time where they've lost their ear tips. They've lost their ear tips to frostbite. It's like someone losing a fingertip to frostbite. So it definitely can happen. Um, you know, that's, that's a, a risk for an animal that's left outside too long, just like it would be for a person. How long your pet can stay outdoors depends on their activity level and their coats. Larger dogs built for the cold can withstand longer periods outside, and for Arctic breeds or water dogs, the colder the better. If your dog is like mine and loves coming to the dog park no matter how low the temperature drops, you may have discovered he also loves to pick up and eat something another dog has left behind. There's definitely the potential for him to contract intestinal parasites by doing that. Um, you know, why do dogs do that? It, it's an age-old problem. I think there's a combination of they unfortunately just like the flavor and they like the taste. I always thought nature had taken care of that, but apparently not. Um, and I think there's an aspect of play. You'll see some dogs that will grab these frozen stools and they'll toss them and play them and roll on them. Another danger to pets is antifreeze, which contains a chemical called ethylene glycol. It has a sweet flavor that appeals to dogs and children. Make sure to clean up all spills and store the product out of reach. Even a small amount can cause kidney failure. Salt on sidewalks can irritate paws, so wash and dry them after they've been outside. And finally, pets rely on humans to care for them, so when their owners fail, it's our responsibility to help them. It's one of those things I think people worry about what's it going to do to change your relations with your neighbors and things like that and so everybody has to make individual judgments but there certainly are such circumstances where um, reporting them is warranted uh, in the best interest of the animal.